the Institute for Advanced Study. If any of you are interested in more information, I do have some small cards with me. I don't ever remember to bring things like that, but I have a terrific staff um, who does remember and handed me a packet just a, a few minutes ago. The theme that the Institute is investigating last year and this year is abundance and scarcity. And so we were just thrilled to find out um, that Imagining America was going to be here and that the theme was how do we sustain ourselves. And so when we were in discussions about how to collaborate, it seemed logical that we could and should sponsor a keynote um, and Rose and Setu just seemed um, like, a, like a magical pairing. Um, we have been working with them on some other projects and so we, um, we asked them if they were interested and they, they leapt at the chance. Um, if you were local, I could simply say they need no introduction and sit down, but many of you are not local, so I will do a brief introduction, and I'll start with Setu. Working on his own or in collaboration with other artists or communities, Setu has created over 30 large-scale public artworks. He uses environmental and horticultural tools environmental art and horticulture as tools for community development in Frogtown and other St. Paul, Minneapolis neighborhoods. He's been awarded um, many fellowships, a Minnesota State Arts Board Fellowship, a McKnight Visual Arts Fellowship, a Bush Arts Fellowship, a Bush Leadership Fellowship, and so on. Um, he was Millennium Artist in Residence for 651 Arts in Brooklyn, and he just completed his tenure as the city of Minneapolis's first artist in residence. Just last week, or by now it's probably two weeks ago, um, he created a drinking fountain for a new development on Main Street in Minneapolis. And he's integrating artwork into the design of three stations for the new light rail system, the light rail system which is making your life so hard this weekend. And, our life so hard for the foreseeable future, but when it is done, I mean, it will be convenient and it will have magnificent art. He's currently a senior fellow in agricultural systems in the College of Food, Agricultural, and Natural Science Resources, sharing an endowed chair, again, another kind of dialogic collaboration, sharing an endowed chair with urban farmer Will Allen of Milwaukee. Uh, and he's also on the faculty of Goddard College in Port Townsend, Washington. Rose Brewer is a professor of African American and African Studies at the University of Minnesota. And she has written extensively on black families, race, class, gender, and public policy, and the intersections among these. She's published 40 uh, referee journal articles, book chapters, and essays in these areas. She is the editor with Lisa Albrecht of a book entitled Bridges of Power, Women's Multicultural Alliances. She's also editor of a volume with a provocative title, Is Academic Feminism Dead? Theory and Practice, which she produced with the social justice group at the Center for Advanced Feminist Studies here at the University of Minnesota. And her most recent co-authored book is entitled The Color of Wealth, and um, it has been an award-winning book. Um, they are um, conveners of a collaborative that we are funding in the IAS uh, called Black Environmental Thought II, Translocal and Transnational Dialogues and Collaborations. I believe before I turn the floor over to Rose and say to um, there will be um, a, a brief performance in their honor. So if the three of you could come up, then um, that would be fabulous. <laughs> Hello everyone, my name is Brittany Lynch. I'm the president of a student group here at the U of M called Voices Merging. 
We're an urban art student coalition that started almost 10 years ago now. And um, what we're most known for is our spoken word and performances. So many of you came to our open mic last night and um, we had a lot of people perform. We had a brief discussion on why it's important for people to express themselves and how we can really just change the world through our art and expression. So um, I'm gonna let my other two um, members introduce themselves and then we're gonna do a brief dedication poem to Rose and Saitu. My name is Kanisha. I'm the volunteer chair for Voices Merging, and I'm a youth studies major with a minor in Afro Studies. My name is Latif Hosseini. I am the media development and equipment manager for Voices Merging. I am a communications and journalism second year student here at the university. I forgot to say my major. I'm um, combining one in business entrepreneurship, theater arts, and dance. Um, and if any of you are interested in learning more about Voice of Merging, we're actually planning a conference in April, so since you all love conferences, uh, maybe be a part, or at least attend, but our website is voicesmerging.com. You can contact us um, via our website and also get more information, requests, performances, and collaboration opportunities as well. My favorite rapper is Jay-Z, and I appreciate his success, but what's evident in my community are the people who invest. Taking time to make this place a little better than it was before. The works that's been on the local level means so much more. I walk down the streets, seeing artists' designs, never stopping to wonder what the artists had in mind. Maybe if we stopped to pay more attention to what's going on around us, we take notice of subtle movements and the people who ground us. Mm -hmm. Giving, Giving students, students of, of color, color like, like us the, the motivation, motivation to move forward. forward. We see not only what success looks like, but the true meaning of a making, making a difference in our community and world. This is not about race or a long list of accomplishments, but the many lives you've touched through your work. My inspiration doesn't come from those who reap the benefits of fame, but mentors I can have a conversation with and call them by name. Mm -hmm. People I can hold accountable for sustaining visions of a better environment. People who pass on their gifts and knowledge to their children and grandchildren. People who can take a vision and make it tangible reality. People who hit the ground running, not being driven by fear. The inspiration behind creation and life changes. Paving the way for others on this bumpy road called life. Giving what they have for real life improvement. <laughs> Living, Living life, life through creation. creation. Fostering art and scholarship through various mediums. This, this is, is for St. Jones. Jones. This, this is, is for Rose Brewer. Brewer. We, we commend, commend you. Years from now, when the tables are turned and degrees are earned, we will defend you like you fought for us. Black scholars removed three generations for, from not being able to ride the bus when our face on this campus would have caused a fuss. You are both the epitome of black scholarship. Higher learning. The definition of hard work and earning. The benchmarkers behind the world turning. You have taken leadership and given us responsibility dedicating your lives to the community through humility. He takes the elements of Frog Town, creating the unimaginable into something provoking and tangible. She's giving the gift of knowledge, something that can't be destroyed, taken, or returned. Making Make education not only attention-grabbing, but attainable. From, From the, the bottom, bottom of our hearts, we thank, thank you both, both for supporting the up-and-coming to keep from submerging. Thank, Thank you both, Rose and Say Two from Voices Merging. Mm -hmm.